August the 16th, 2023 barn update here in Soldotna, Alaska. Well, I just put these two grain bins into rough position here on the pad. I'm hoping as I do these things, folks that are following along can kind of start to visualize what I've been talking about. Because if you imagine now that these are filled with seed grade pre-cleaned barley for the fodder room, you can see the spouts are here. And now this room here is going to be the fodder room. You can see we framed in a door here. This is obviously yet to be framed in. So this will be filled with all of the fodder and then come out of this door and along this line right here, it's going to be a line feeder and then the barn will be there and the cows will be there. That way we can feed fodder and not get, uh, not get hurt. So we are definitely making progress. We got some red tin up, which I think looks really sharp. And uh, we have all the fascia tin up now. We've got about a three day window of beautiful sunny, almost 70 degree weather here in mid August. Thank God for that. So we are going to push, 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 push this roof along no matter what it takes. Um, I've told the guys that uh, they just need to get it done because nobody wants to be up there on the roof uh, in the pouring rain and given that it's mid-August that's inevitable so we're going to be hustling uh, our asses off here this the next few days to get this this roof on we have put that side of tin there and we've actually got a bunch of uh, bedding hay and straw already set up for the calving barn there and uh, in the next couple of days like I said we'll have the roof on and uh, we'll get all this red tin on here and uh, we're gonna make some pretty pretty good progress. All the tar paper's on now. One big huge setback we had was with electrical. Homer Electric gave us conflicting information and I had to pay to dig up my main electrical line three separate times. And uh, we dug it up again today. It's just been a nightmare getting electricity hooked up here. Uh, they wouldn't approve where my meter was and so we had to move it back and forth and uh, it cost me thousands of dollars in labor. Uh, and diesel uh, moving this power line back and forth because it's a day's job each time and the electrician to hook it up and it was all ready to go and Homer Electric showed up and said no we don't like that spot move it so that was a bit of a stressor but we're we've moved it now and uh, we're gonna uh, hopefully have electricity in here I don't know early October or something so that's where we're at with the barn and uh we're gonna keep going on, keep going on, keep going on here. I'll take an update when the roof is entirely on <clears throat> and uh, this thing's basically dried in for winter. Um, I'm hoping by the end of another week or so, we'll have made some real progress on this and uh, you can see some of the roofing on up there and uh, we'll have uh, the ability to uh, move on to some of the other things that really need to be done here on the farm before the cows come home. So. Anyways, that's what's going on here on the farm on this uh, August night. I'm up here working and uh, just thought I'd take a quick little video to show that we've pushed it along.